Hi friends, as you've probably noticed, we've been experiencing quite a week. COVID-19, which we've been calling coronavirus, has continued to cause illness, raise anxiety, and induce fear all over our world. And we as a church, we've been prayerfully wanting to respond in ways that care for the vulnerable and are prayerfully wise, not responding out of fear, but responding out of faith. But as we're continuing to receive new pieces of information, we're realizing our approach uh, is gonna continue need to shift. Uh, on Wednesday, March 11th, Governor Newsom shared that California health experts are recommending that any gathering with 250 people or more be postponed or canceled. And as a church, we want to respond, protecting the vulnerable in our community. And we're going to make some shifts in the coming weeks that we wanted you to know about. First, starting this Sunday and for every Sunday in March, all of our services will be transitioning to be online services. So we'll have the same team leading us in worship as we sing and a message that will be given from God's word, but we won't be meeting together on campus. We're gonna meet across the community in our homes. And this is a unique way for us to worship, but it's the way that the church has worshiped all throughout the centuries in homes in this way. Our team's been working hard to prepare some additional tools to help you as you worship in your homes. Uh, items for kids to use as activities as you worship together, uh, discussion guides for families, community group questions, and also some prayer tools that you can use as you're going through this unique season. Another shift we're making in ministry is all of our corporate ministry gatherings during the week are going to be postponed for the weeks ahead or are also gonna to transition to online platforms. And each ministry leader for each group will be reaching out to you with more information on that. Even though our approach to ministry is changing in this unique season, the vision and call of our church doesn't change. We exist to bring Jesus to people and people to Jesus. And in that endeavor, right now, we're reaching out to our community partners and our global partners, asking for how we can be the hands and feet of Jesus to support them. And we want to do that for you, too. Please let us know how can we support you? How can we pray for you in this unique season? And join me as we continue to pray for and give and support those in need in the season all around the world. All of these uh, unique information tools and, and more information can be found at WAC.net and we'd encourage you to go there to search for more. But let's remember that we are in the hands of our great God in the midst of this season and we find peace even in the storm through him. God bless you and I look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday.